the land of fire and ice, the volcanoes of Kamchatka. The Kamchatka Peninsula lies at the eastern end of the Eurasian continent. A cluster of over 100 volcanoes here makes it one of the greatest volcanic zones in the world. The Kluchevskoy volcanic group is the most active of all. Many of the volcanoes are symmetrical cones rising over 4,000 meters above sea level. Mount Kluchevskoy at 4,835 meters is the highest. Tundra covers much of the foot of the mountain. The frozen ground thaws during the summer providing an abundant supply of water. There are many strange looking rocks here. They're the remains of consolidated lava flows from previous eruptions. Volcanic eruptions emitting hot lava and volcanic ash drastically change the appearance of the forest. The dead larch trees here extend like a vast cemetery of headstones. The glaciers running between the mountains are blackened by falling volcanic ash. However, further up towards the summit, the dark glacier is completely coated in pure white snow. The crater of this volcano is covered with a thick cap of glacial ice. Mount Ushkovsky last erupted 50,000 years ago. The hole here in the ice is about a kilometer from the summit. The air is checked inside for toxic gases before entering. The hole opens up to reveal a large ice tunnel. Hot steam from the crater has melted the ice and created a large hollow space inside. Magma is still active beneath the glacier. Here, there are some solidified lava pieces under the piles of volcanic ash. Steam makes the ice unstable. Care has to be taken when walking on and under the glacier. This is a piece of lava taken from the bottom of the ice cave. It's the first lava sample from the Ushkovsky volcano. This could be a sample from the last eruption tens of thousands of years ago. Autumn has arrived, small plants are growing. They're known as fireweed and grow even on very dry land. A young poplar tree has also started to grow. There is a cycle of instant devastation and gradual regeneration here. In Kamchatka, time flows to the pulse of the magma.